Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about Caesar program to generate the sum of n numbers. So let's write the code. So at your first time, going to take the integer variable n here after i next sum. And your sum value going to initialize with 0. Now here after, let's write console class dot write method. And here in double code, going to write int any positive number now here close by semicolon and whatever I'm going to enter so that will receive by n and here int dot parse console dot read line now here after let's use Paldo and here for i that start from 1 and your i less than equal to n and your i plus plus and you have to sum equal to sum plus i and here after let's go on from follow and here going to use console class dot or write to line method and inside double code going to write the sum of numbers colon and here after plus and sum now here after so this is the code now here after let's execute and check the output so at here So add here, enter any positive number. So going to enter 5. So add here, the output itself displaying the sum of number colon 15. So if I'm going to enter add here 5, so this will work add here or sum of n numbers. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. So if you add here 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 4, 10, 10 plus 5, 15. So at here n value I enter 5, then the output at here that to display 15. Suppose if I enter n value 10, so here if I enter n value 10, then the sum of uh, first 10 numbers equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 so if you add this one the output will display 55 let's check that so enter any positive number i'm going to enter 10 so see at here the sum of numbers 55 it's a display now here after i'm going to explain this codes step by step so this is the code I pasted here. So if you debug the code control comes to main method here after that go inside. So add here I've taken or uh, three integer tag variable. First is n next i and here after sum. And here sum value that is initialized with 0. Here after console class dot write line method. So this or display into the output screen. And here, whatever I am going to enter, so that to first accept in a string format. And here after, by using in dot part, so that going to convert into integer. Suppose if I enter n value 5. So this is the a string format. Here, a string. And after applying in dot part, so it's a convert into integer. And this integer now going to store into n. Now, here after n value that I enter 5. Here after control comes to for loop. So add your i value that is start from 1 and your n value 5. So 1 less than 5, the condition is true. So if the condition is true, so that coincides, so add your sum equal to sum plus i. So sum value is now 0, i value is 1. So 0 plus 1, the value comes at your 1. And here after loop continue, so i is now this time 2. 2 less than 5 condition is true that coincides so at your sum value is now 
1 and i value is 2. 1 plus 2, the value comes 3. Now here after i gonna increase, so i is 3 now. That check, condition 3 less than 5, condition is 2, so that coincides. So add here, some value is 3 and i value also 3. So 3 plus 3, the value comes 6. So at this point, the value is 6. Here after i gonna increase, so i is 4 now. Check the condition, 4 less than 5, condition is 2, that coincides. So at here, some value is 4, oh sorry, 6, i value 4. So 6 plus 4, the value comes at here 10. And here after i gonna increase, so i is 5. And check 5 equal to 5, condition is 2, that coincides. So at here, sum equal to sum plus i. So sum value is 10, i value 5. i value at here 5. So 10 plus 5, the value comes 15. So here after i gonna increase, so i is now 6. That check the condition, n value i into 5. So 6 less than 5, the condition false. So that not coincide. So at here this condition is false. So this not coincide. Here control comes to this point. So at here console dot write. So this or display into the output screen and the sum value. So sum value 15 that display. So at here the output display. The sum of numbers equal to 15 that display. Now here after control comes to this point. Console dot trade line. So it read some values from the keyword and terminate the output scale. So here terminate the output scale. So add here I enter n value 5 output 15. So next time you should try to enter n value 8 and do the same try run method. So definitely you get the expected output here. So I hope that this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.